Good morning and welcome to your daily farm and home show. I'm Kristen Hildebrand, Warren County's Extension Agent for Horticulture, and I'm so glad to have you guys joining us this morning because we are pairing two of your favorite things together in a dip, and so we're pairing your favorite tomatoes with some nice crispy bacon. And so this morning we're making a bacon and tomato dip, and we're actually adding a little bit of a flair to it. So you make sure that you watch all the way through to see how we're gonna actually use the dip instead of using it with like chips. So let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. I'm using a, a Pyrex uh, cooking dish here, um, really a measuring cup so that way that you can see how we're going to use um, it for a little bit later. So to start this we've got a cup of some low fat mayo. We're going to get that out and add this into our measuring cup. Make sure we get all of that out of there. Okay, and then next we've also got one cup of some sour cream. And if you don't have that, I feel like non-fat Greek yogurt would be um, good as too because it's just as thick. Okay, so we've got both of those added. Now we're gonna pair our tomatoes here. So we're gonna, it calls for two cups of tomatoes. You're gonna go ahead and dice those and just know that your tomatoes are gonna have a lot of water content to them. It's like 96% water. So you can go ahead and reserve that or you can add it in, but use whatever tomatoes that you have either coming from your gardens or that you find at the farmer's market. Um, you know, there's different tomato varieties that can taste very different depending on their acid or sugar content so we're just going to add that right on top with our sour cream and mayo there you know whatever your favorite variety is one of my favorites is Cherokee purple but you know Mr. Stripey or Brandywine they're all really really good this time of year uh, to this we're also going to add four strips of bacon that's already cooked and we've also it's really crispy bacon so you're going to just add that to your ingredients here Looks like I got just a few that got away from me here. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna incorporate this together. And again, I feel like with all of this, it's gonna be really a good thing to add because you know, the tomatoes with the bacon and even the creaminess from the sour cream and also the mayo is gonna be really, really good. Um, one thing after you do get it incorporated very nicely, you wanna add a little bit of seasoning. We're gonna add just a little bit of garlic powder, so just a teaspoon. And so we're just gonna add that just gently on top. Make sure you get all of that out. And then we're gonna go ahead and just mix that up really, really well. Now, if you've got some herbs at home, you can go ahead and throw those in. Uh, dill would be great. Um, basil would be really, really good in here. Um, and basil's one that you would add. If you keep this cold, you would wanna add it uh, right before you get ready to, to serve it. So I feel like that's good and incorporated. Now here's the secret way we're gonna use this dip this morning. So if you have, um, you know, especially with sandwiches, we always like bacon, lettuce, and tomato. So what I've done is I've actually taken some wedges here, lettuce wedges, cut them in quarters, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour this right on top. And so that's why you wanna make sure that you've got this where it can just easily pour on top of the wedge. And feel free if you feel like it's nice, um, like you've got plenty actually on top, you don't have to completely soak it. So um, after I've got that pretty much on the ones that I have here, feel free to incorporate some extra vegetables. Like we've got some cucumbers here that we're gonna just gently add on top. Uh, for a little bit of extra vegetable, we just dice that. And of course, we'll add just a little bit more tomatoes on top. So, oh my goodness, my mouth is already watering and it's still just really, really early in the morning. We appreciate you guys watching the Farm and Home Show. If you'd like a copy of the bacon and tomato dip recipe from our Plate It Up in Kentucky Proud Initiative, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.